All right, we have an aldehyde and we have a primary amine. So aldehyde, primary amine, H plus is a catalyst. We should know right away, without doing the mechanism, what the product's gonna be. It's gonna be an imine. So we should be able to draw the product right away. We should know what an imine is, and an enamine, and an iminium. You need all of them. And the other thing we make is water. So you need to know that. Now, how do we do that in the mechanism? How do we do that in the mechanism? First step is going to be what? Protonation. protonation, right? Protonation. We're in acidic conditions, so the first step is always protonation. Equilibrium arrows. So we've done a protonation. That's made the carbon of the aldehyde more reactive. Next step is going to be addition. We're going to form a tetrahedral intermediate. What am I missing? Plus charge where? Nitrogen, balance your charges. Very good, now we need to do, so what else we need to do here? We need to get rid of the OH, right? So we need to make that a better leaving group. So we need to do A, proton transfer, the old PT. Don't have to show the arrows for this, you could if you want. But if you do show the arrows, make sure you do it right. Tetrahedral intermediate still. Now we got a good leaving group, excellent. What are we going to do now? We could take the two electrons here and do an elimination. And that gets us to our product. There's ways to dry this reaction by removing water. Dean Stark trap is one of the things you can use to remove water. You can use drying agent like we use in lab, sodium sulfate, magnesium sulfate. That would help right shift right this is really an equilibrium reaction helps shift it towards products by removing the water you could also add right a lot of amine that would also help shift equilibrium right? remember those ways to shift equilibriums so here i showed the, the nitrogen hydrogen bond breaking those electrons coming down but you could also do the lone pairs and have those come down then you need to have another step showing h plus catalyst being regenerated all right, so I'm doing that all in one step here, because that's showing the H plus, right, the catalyst is being regenerated. Or you could use the lone pairs on the nitrogen, oops, on the nitrogen. But then you have an extra step to show the H falling off. Make sure you show the electrons in the right way. Electrons do not go to the hydrogen.